Hi, I'm Tim. I'm usually behind the camera, but I'm here with pastor <laughs> yeah. and Robert. author Robert Scott. Yeah. I know your name. <laughs> okay. You don't have to You're remind me. Yeah. Okay. Even though I'm a little nervous <laughs> first time in front of the camera. That's right. Yeah. Anyways, there was a title called, Sorry You Missed the First Rapture. What do you mean by that? Well, actually, we were asked this question. We're doing it because we were asked to give it because there are people that are asking the question. And the question may come up to him years ahead when... When the, when the believers, the, the really small group of strong believers, have been raptured to heaven, and then people who are believers say, well, what happened to me? How come you're gone and I'm still here? That may happen. It may happen. And so in the next few years, if you're watching this YouTube, and you are still here, when the others have gone up to heaven, the question comes, why did I miss the first rapture? Well, only God knows why you were not among those strong believers who walked in power in the end time. And that's what God wants us to do. But if you don't have that closeness to Jesus, uh, you're not keeping the Sabbath day and that kind of thing that's going to be revealed shortly to the, to the body of Jesus Christ, then you will be, remember now, uh, if you've missed the first rapture, stay tuned for number two. Stay tuned for the second because Revelation 12 talks about a group. This is a group that never was taught about the rapture. They believed and were taught in their churches that there was a place of safety. And so God says, that's what you believe, that's what you'll get. Or you may have lacked faith to be, think you're going to be taken up to heaven. Whatever the reason may be, it says, according to your faith, be unto you. So whatever the reason, if you miss the first rapture, the second is there. Now, the second is not a rapture to heaven. It is a physical place of safety. Revelation says, Revelation 12 does say that Satan comes down with great wrath, because he has a short time, and he persecutes the church, those who are keeping the Sabbath days, and the commandments of God. Verse 17 says that. But in the first verses there, 14, 15, uh, 13, 14, it talks about how the church was given the wings of a great eagle to fly into the wilderness where she was protected for time, times, and half a time, which simply means, interpreted by other verses of the Bible, three and a half years. So there's a place of safety in this earth for three and a half years for those who miss the first rapture, which is the best. Just like the, the first resurrection is the best resurrection, the second is not the best because it's after the millennium. For those that didn't know Jesus, they don't, they don't have the, the power of being the bride of Jesus. So they miss out on that, that intimacy with Jesus. They miss out on the responsibility they're going to have to help the world. So this, this second rapture is a place of safety somewhere probably on the earth where these people would be protected in a time of great tribulation. So don't despair. If you miss the first, the second is still there, and the third. If you're still alive, when Jesus comes back, then there is a called the first resurrection, which is the third rapture. So there is always an understanding you would have of these things when you know the Word of God. So don't be afraid. Don't feel like you're second class. Just be thankful that you have an opportunity to be protected in the Great Tribulation. And there is a place of safety for those who don't participate in the first rapture. And I think that's good news, don't you think? Yeah. That's very good news. Good. Excellent. So we'll end this recording and thanking you for, for watching us.